Um, we played... Oh, damn it. That was gonna be so sick. We we're gonna wipe out the blue guy and had no consequences. Oh, at least the green guy got his. Oh, we're all getting it. Oh, we're all eating it. Guys, we're, we're all horrible. Did no one practice this track? We were all out partying last night, weren't we? Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Excite Bike on the NES. This is the game that I promised you I would play in my last video, and the computer here is going to give us a little intro of what we can expect here. As you can see, Excite Bike is a classic NES game. You've got the glorious pixelated motocross dude here. Oh my god, just looking at these graphics. Um, just takes me back. Of course, in the background, we have cameramen filming what's going on. And if you get knocked off your bike, you have to run back to the bike. This is a very simple yet a very awesome game. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here. Now, I think Selection A lets you race basically by yourself. So let's just go ahead and for our first race, let's try it all by ourselves, so I can get a bit of a chance to talk to you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and start racing with some opponents because that's where the real fun begins. So here in Excite Bike, you have two buttons, go and really go, basically accelerate and turbo. So when I hit the turbo button, you'll hear the awesome like 8-bit rendition of an engine like overheating and brrrr. So hold on, let me, let me cool the engine down a bit and we can listen to it uh, when I turn the turbo on. Okay, here, are you ready for it? Oh man, I love those like old school sound effects, they're hilarious. Um, so we have the camera crew and like judges watching us. The game is very simple. You simply press up and down to move uh, from one track to the next. And you press uh, back and forward when you do jumps. Now I think if you press back when you do a jump, you do like a higher jump. And if you press forward, you go sort of further. So usually you kind of want distance. And then like when you land, if you can line your wheels up with the ground as you land, then you... Um, and then you sort of land better and can continue going faster. So we should be turboing this because we're almost out of time. Oh, I almost overheated my engine. Oh, yeah, overheat for the win. Then we pop a wheelie at the end there. And uh, I don't know who second and third place were because I didn't see anyone else on the track. I thought it was just me, by the way, but I like how it still gives me a little victory music. I love, by the way, the victory music in this game is um, awesome. So I guess it's letting us race on to the next track here. Man, we could like probably fly through this whole game, in fact. Um, I don't want to just continue to race by myself, though. So uh, I think if you hit those arrows, your temperature, yeah, it goes down. So it's like those arrows can be very handy. Um, oh, we almost overheated. Boom! Man, I, I'm not wiping out. Maybe I should wipe out just to show you guys what happens because it's kind of funny. Oh, I, you know what? That was unintentional. I'm going to say that was intentional. I did that one just for you guys to show you guys what it's like. I would never wipe out. If you go into the mud spots, it slows you down. So you don't want to be doing that. Um, what else can you do in this game? You can pop a wheelie for no reason. Like you could drive around like this if you wanted. Wee! But if you pop a wheelie too far, then um, you will actually fall over like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound effect he makes when he falls over. You can hear the crowd. It's oh, we fell off again. Oh my god! If you press the button when you're running towards your motorcycle, you get back on faster. The crowd in this game, I, I love the the NES uh, sound effects because the crowd literally just sounds like the ocean. Like it's a dull like <sighs> kind of a sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, these hills slow you down so much. All right, we're going for it. Here we go. Hill. If you lean too far forward when you land, you can totally, like, bite it, too, and, like, just wipe out. Um, I mean, we're flying through this. Why not? Why not? Why not just sort of go through the remaining tracks here? I mean, um, I do want to race with some opponents. And is there a way? Oh, I love that pause sound. Even the pause sound effect in old NES games is, like, nostalgic. Um, it is kind of a long sound effect, though. So, no, there is... Whoa! We crashed into a mountain. There is no way to boot to the menu. I would have to reset the system. And so forget it. Whoa, whoa. We're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna reset the game the old fashioned way by beating the levels. Oh, wow, things are getting complicated quickly. Whoa, I jumped too far there. 
So getting the arrows is actually essential. I feel like as a kid, I didn't know a lot of this. Like, I'm, I'm doing all this stuff in front of you guys here. I, I never played this well as a kid. Um, as a kid, video games were a big mystery to me. I liked, I liked playing them. Pressing buttons made things happen. Oh, God. I'm just rolling right down that hill. Pressing buttons made things happen. In terms of my reliability of performance, um, we... I, I, I was not necessarily the best at, at every game that I played. Um, I feel like as an adult, things make a lot more sense. Like, um, as I was playing this game on the first level, I noticed when I went over the arrow, my temperature went down, and my brain thought, hmm, I guess that does a thing. But as a kid, I just would have been like, whoa, my temperature went down! Crazy! Like, I, I never would have connected the dots. And I'm really riding the line with that temperature, by the way. Just trying to keep it a as high as I can. Because that's how you go fast. You you overheat your bike. I don't know if that's legit. Is that like real? In real dirt racing or dirt bike racing, um, is that a thing? Like you can uh, you can overheat your bike? I don't. I've never heard of such a thing. It's definitely a mechanic that they carried over. Oh yeah, these you got to kind of do like wheelies over them. Otherwise, you'll totally trip and fall. Whoa, whoa. Um. Definitely the overheating mechanic, though, is something that they maintained in the Excitebyte 64 remake that uh, we played recently. So if you uh, normally keep up with my channel, I played Excitebyte 64 just on uh, Thursday there. And we had so much fun with that game that we decided that we'd go back and play the granddaddy that gave rise to... Uh, oh my god, we just went through the dirt. Oh, we went through all the dirts. <laughs> yeah, that is not how you want to do that part, guys. Learn from my mistakes. You can also like, oh, <laughs> I was going to say, you can kind of like dodge these things if you're not good at doing the wheelies, or you can just straight up wipe out on them. Um, you always have that option too. You're, you always have the option to do bad at any video game you're playing. You can either do it good, you can do bad, or you can, um, I guess those are your only two options. All right. Ex in, in, unless we're counting like do moderately well. So, um, wee, wee. Oh, he fell off there. Oh no! We're not gonna get first place on this one! No! Okay, we only have six seconds left! Uh, five! Sixteen! No! We didn't do it! We didn't do it so close! Oh! The shame! Oh, we're third! Jeez! Oh, we're, we're, we went from third to fifth? What the hell? Oh man, we definitely did bad there. And who, again, who are these other guys? I don't even know. So the main selling feature, by the way, of this game was being able to design your own courses. We're going to try that in a sec. Uh, let's just go ahead and try some of these tracks again with some opponents and see how that goes for us. Challenge race. Oh, yeah. I remember the green guy I never liked. So, oh, we, we totally wiped out there. That's okay. We'll, we'll catch up. So you can um, basically wipe out opponents in this game by getting in front of them and letting them sort of accelerate into your butt. And basically, I tried to show it to you there, and I wiped out in the process. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can make this happen. Come on, do it. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> oh, we got him too. I think the green racer is like the only other legit racer who's like actually racing against you. Because if you'll notice, no matter how far I get on the track, there's just going to be a bunch of like random white and purple guys. Like random. Although, wait, how did the green guy get so far ahead? Oh, damn it. It's been a while since I played guys. I forgot how to, how to wipe guys out with style. You kind of have to just like do it very... Oh, God. Yeah, to eat my butt. <laughs> no. He wiped us both out. You fool! You should have just eaten my butt. All right, here we go. Ah, damn. You really have to, like, just get in there just as you, like, clip the front wheel of theirs. Like this! Yes, I got him! Oh, but... <laughs> hey, and then how did he end up ahead of me? Um, I guess they just cycle the, the bad guys. But, uh, well, you know what? It keeps it interesting. If, if really, if the bad guys fell behind you, uh, if they didn't catch up then there'd be no fun in the game. So I'm totally fine with the, the game. I mean, the game was totally cheating. It was just like, oh, you wiped the green guy out? Well, let's just teleport him, like, in front of you. It's like, how is that fair, man? Oh, you're not getting ahead of me, though. <laughs> we'll see you later in the track. Yeah, look, he's now ahead of me. He should be eating dirt behind me, man. Oh, now he is behind me. I, I, I don't understand. These guys, this is, this is one motorcycle race that defies the laws of physics and reality itself. 
I think I'm racing against a bunch of guys who are using, like, infinity stones or something. Like, who, who's got the reality gem? All right, I'm calling it. One of you guys, one of you guys has got the reality gem. Which one is it? Because people who should be behind me are in front of me. People who should be in front of me are behind me. Damn, we overheated. I thought we were safe there. All right, let's, let's go, 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 go. We got, we got to make up some, some room. Um, when I was a kid, after you knock a guy off uh, his motorcycle, when he's, like, running across the field to try and get back on it, I would always try and, like, hit that guy with my motorcycle. I don't think you could. Yes, we got him. <laughs> the only reason I'm racing is to wipe people out. It's, like, not to, like, legit do well or, like, compete against myself and see how much of a motocross guy I could be. It's legit just to, like, cause pain and suffering. To, to spread some sorrow. And uh, if I can do that, then I feel like it's been a successful day. So these first couple tracks were okay at, but uh, eventually they get tricky. Um, now this Excite Bike, by the way, was one of the earliest NES games I can ever remember playing. I think I said in my Excite Bike 64 video that it was uh, one of the games that um, we played. Oh, damn it. That was going to be so sick. We we're going to wipe out the blue guy and had no consequences. Oh, at least the green guy got his. Oh, we're all getting it. Oh, we're all eating it. Guys, we're, we're all horrible. Did no one practice this track? We were all out partying last night, weren't we? Um, but this was one of the games that my dad's girlfriend's brother lent to us when he lent us his NES. And that was the first time I had, like, ever played an NES before. And it was this, Metroid, and Mario slash Duck Hunt. And of course, I think Mario is obviously my favorite game. Um, Mario is, is just one of the best um, NES games out there. Um, and of course, Duck Hunt was pretty cool because you got to shoot ducks. I wasn't very good at it as a kid, but I liked it. See, you don't have to be good at things to like them. But I, I was obviously not good, but I did like them. I uh, liked doing it. And then there was Metroid, which I also liked, but was a very confusing game. I talk about, like, not understanding things as a kid in video games. Like, Metroid was just, like, a big mystery to me. Like, I didn't understand where you were supposed to go or what you are supposed to do. I just like playing, like, the first, like, five five minutes of the game and, and shooting a few things. And, like, that's, that's the extent to which I was thinking about Metroid. Woo! Flying through these tracks now. I guess it's good we warmed up without any other racers. Yeah! I'm celebrating number one! I wonder if you get number two or three, do you still jump? Like, is he the only excited... Because the other guys aren't excited to win. They're just standing there like, yes, another motocross trophy. Yay for me. I'm all hap happy. Sucker. Okay, we're not going to try and dodge these things because last time we tried that and it was our downfall. So we're just going to... Wee! Yeah! Whoa! hey -o, hey -o, Gotcha! Oh, 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 wow! Oh, man, I can't believe I didn't wipe out there. hey -o. Ah. Go! Whoa! Um, so anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my, my original experience with the NES. Yeah, back in the day when like, there, so the first, oh, we both wiped out. We both wanted to go there. The first NES games all came in these like black boxes and they were part of like the action series or the adventure series or whatever. I think Excite Bike here, oh, I wiped out right in front of the camera. That's embarrassing. I think Excite Bike here is part of the action series or the sports series, one of those. Uh, but I remember, like, all the old NES game boxes at one point were, like, gray or black. Like, I'm not talking about the NES carts, but, like, the actual box art. Oh, I landed right on him! And he's unfazed. He, he's like, hmm, did you guys hear something? Like, it, 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 he was completely unaffected by that wipeout. Oh, God. Go, 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 go! We, we gotta... Oh, no, we're running out of time. This happened before. No! Six. No, one. Oh, we've totally lost, haven't we? We've totally lost. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, third. The time 118 is third, so I didn't place. Damn it, seventh! There was only four of us racing. How does that work? The physics of it don't make sense. Who's racing with the infinite, with the reality gem? I want to know. The reality stone is unfair. Um, so is that three or four? Um, let's just try four. If it's the same one... No, it's a different one. Okay. So there's two more tracks to try, and then we can start making... Ah, our own track. Damn you, green boy. You suck. Whoa, look at this thing. Look at that crazy thing. What is that? I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows, but it's fun. Oh, I, I landed badly. All right. 
Hey yo! Just gonna sneak right in between you fellas. Don't mind me. How, how did he go over everything? Jeez. We, but at least he wiped out. Ugh, damn it! Stuck in the mud over here. Those guys wouldn't let me in. They're not playing fair, Chief. No, but they're wiping out like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Had to concentrate there to wipe that guy out. Man. So, here's an interesting little bit of trivia for you with Excitebike here. They never made a two-player version of this game, but they did. There was an arcade version of this uh, called Versus Excitebike, which might make you think it was two players, but I'm pretty sure it was not. Um, I think, like, it had, it probably had, like, a two-player mode. Um, damn. Now I wish I kind of read about this specifically, because I read it existed, and I kind of have forgotten the details now. So maybe, okay, you might preface, let me preface everything I'm about to say by, you might have to look it up for accuracy, but there is a versus Excite Bike. Basically, it's this game, but they, Nintendo had this thing where they would take NES games, like Mario, and they would create arcade versions of the game. Uh, we didn't place again, damn it. They create arcade versions of the game, like, versus Mario, and it would literally be the NES game, but maybe with a few little tweaks. Like, it was not like an arcade port or something like that. It was literally the NES game. Um, and then they put it in arcade to make tons of money, because who didn't want to play Nintendo? Um, it's, it's kind of funny, actually. Like the, the old movie, The Wizard, used to, sh you know, in that movie, this kid is traveling across the country for a video game contest, and he plays some Nintendo games in an arcade, but, like, literally, it's kind of like a joke because, um, like, it's not a joke in the movie, but it's, like, a joke for any, like, kid who watched the movie because it's, like, you can't play NES games in the arcade, uh, except with a few exceptions. Like, there was Versus Mario and there was Versus Excite Bike. So, you know, depending on where you live, you might find this game in an arcade uh, at a bar or, like, a restaurant or something um, in the 80s. Uh, and I think it was pretty much the same game so I don't know what made it versus. Like, I don't know if you could play two players, but I'm pretty sure you couldn't play against, uh, like, your friend. Um, it was just like, you know, you could play it in the arcade, and you couldn't make courses, obviously. Because uh, that would be kind of weird to have somebody sitting there, like, making a course for, like, 20 minutes in the arcade. And then, essentially, like, they, lo they, they play their one race, they lose, and then, like, okay, well, you know, the course gets deleted and on to the next player. So making a course only makes sense for a home console version. Um, I don't know of any single, you know, I talked about how, how awesome it is, um, I think in the Excite by 64 uh, video, uh, whenever a game includes, like, a track editor, uh, but I don't, I can't think of any arcade games that would ever let you do anything like that. Definitely it was, like, only on the home console version of anything could you make, or, or like, the DOS version, could you make a track. But anyway, the old versus Excite by... Um, it's something I never saw in the wild. I mean, I never saw Mario versus until like just a couple of years ago. I was in like an arcade, like a museum arcade, and I saw it. Eleventh! Oh my God, we're doing horrible. <laughs> Let's just forget about all this. Well, our career as a racer is clearly not going to take off. All right, so we're going to go ahead and design a course. Ba boom. Uh, but anyway, yeah. As, as far as like arcades go, um, so you can find this game in the arcade, and uh, but it never really had a two-player version, and I really, I really kind of feel like it needed a two-player version because like two players would have been really cool in this game. Anyway, this this editor here is interesting. We're placing the alphabet. In case you didn't know, this is what an E looks like, and if you want to see F, well, there you go. Here's a G. Here's an I, or sorry, an H, an I, an I. God, I skipped H. My God, I don't even know my ABCs, guys. Here's a K. Here's an L. So they only had 26 things, I guess. There's an O. Here's a P. Here's a Q. Here's an R. I like the R's and I like the S's. Oh, I guess they didn't have 26 even. They had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 things. Okay, so. Okay, let's. We made a couple of bumps there. Let's create one jump, two jump, three jump. And then we're gonna create, we're gonna place the big boys, like an S. We'll leave, have an S onto, uh, shh, no, we want an S onto an R, onto, uh, uh, onto one of those. We're gonna throw some obstacles here. 
some dirt where people have to like bob and weave and bob and weave and then it's going to go into these annoying little things which i hate um and then we'll have a jump there why not and then we'll go into one of these and then one of these and then hell i don't know a bunch of these things and then we're going to go into one of these i mean if i was thinking about it i'd create a much more uh, sensical, sensible course, but let's just go ahead and do that. And boom, put the finish line there. And we're going to make this a nine lap course. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's just make it a, make it a three lapper. How about that? Boom. And let's go ahead and play mode B. Play with some competition. Here we are. This is, this course is called, uh, um, Jay's Secret. And if you can figure out the secrets, then you'll be able to win at this course. Hey, oh, there's one of the secrets. Go from the jump up the mountain. Then you got to bob and weave and bob and weave. And then boom, that's another secret right there. These secrets are rather obvious. Oh, God. We're all wiping out. Why is third eight play? Eight, eight seconds. Wait, 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 wait. It only... It only takes eight seconds to get third place. I, it just took me 30 seconds to do one. What? <laughs> it took me 30 seconds to do one lap. I'm supposed to do three and eight seconds. How did the game come up with that number? That makes absolutely no sense. Um, something, somebody did not time this thing properly. Cause it takes, let me tell you, it takes a lot more than eight seconds to go through this thing three times. Um, uh, these are annoying. Why did I put these here? Oh, and somehow he wiped me out. He landed on me and wiped me out. That's annoying because I definitely landed on the green guy and uh, he he uh, wiped me out when it happened. He didn't even notice that I landed on him. Hey, oh, oh I overheated. Ah, well. Um, but yeah, could you guys imagine a two player version of this where like both players are racing at the same time? I mean, I guess you'd have to do split screen and that was a tall task for the NES. I mean, the NES could barely handle one screen, let alone split screen. So I think the technology wasn't there. But it would have been really cool to get a two-player version of this. This is one game that, like, they never really made a sequel to in the retro era. Yeah, there was the Excite Bike. Oh, my God. How am I wiping out in these little, like... Oh, my God. I'm doing so bad on those little mountains. Whee! Boom. Best is zero, but third place is eight. Wait, what? How did I get number one? Oh, that's weird. I guess, so I guess when you haven't raced before, then you set the par. Okay, that's, that's okay. It was just weird that it showed the eight seconds. Um, let's, let's reset. Boom. And let's go back into design and design one more time here. Um, let's put in all the fun stuff. Like these. And clear away this. I'm just going to clear out some of the junk that was getting in the way here. Like this. There's no way to go back once you've placed something, so it's kind of annoying. You have to, like, loop through the whole track. Let's get rid of some of these. There's too many of them. And these things suck. To hell with these. I'm not putting any of those in my course. Then we have this. What was... No, we just erased part of our own, own track. Where's the, like, big pit? P. Q. There's what we want. Some Qs. Let's throw a few strategic cues in. And let's throw in a shortcut to skip this, because nobody wants this. And then we'll do like a P. And one of those is fine. That's oddly that's an oddly placed gap, but um, let's go with how about a couple of R's? This will be a very mountainous course. End on an S. And end. Boom. Alright. And it is a three, three course affair. And let's go ahead and do it here. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, they never really made a sequel to Excite Bike in the retro era. I mean, they made Excite Bike 64, but obviously, you know, that one came out, you know, a long time later. And, uh, we it was for the N64, and like it wasn't really like this game. Like there was no on the NES a sequel to Excite Bike, and I always felt that there really should have been. They should have once they they updated the NES technology with uh, many years of work. 
Um, when they were sort of the Mario Brother 3 era, they totally could have gone back and made a more advanced Excite Bike. Because NES games got more sophisticated as time went on. You look at the first Mario, and you look at Mario 3, and Mario 3 is essentially running like a whole bunch of custom chips in the game cartridge that makes the game way more powerful than Mario 1. Like, Mario 3 isn't... they. It's not just like they, do, they weren't creative enough to come up with Mario 3 when they came out with the NES. It's like literally the technology wasn't there. Oh, sweet. We just wiped the guy out by landing on him. Literally, the technology wasn't there to create a game as advanced as Mario 3 for the first NES kind of run of games. That that old original run where all the, the game uh, boxes were black and gray. Metroid, I think, was a gray box. I'm pretty sure Excitebike was a black box. Mario and Duck Hunt was a black box. Oh, God, we're just getting decimated here. Nobody likes us. The, the funny thing is, no matter how poorly we do, we'll always come in first on our own track because we set the bar, folks. Not these fools, not these jokers. Wow! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's funny when you wipe out. That guy in the field is just like using hand signals to motion to no one. He's like, yes, go forward! Forward is the way to go! Whoa! Yes! Oh! We're, <laughs> we're just eating it left and right. Oh, they're all. Everyone took it on that mountain. Oh, man. So excited bike here. This is definitely one of my my favorite sort of classic. Oh yeah! Overheated and wiped out over the finish line. Now that's a finish. <laughs> Number one. Nobody. You know what? We may not have been the fastest racer, but we had the most style. Anyway, excited bike here is definitely one of my favorite classic NES games. It's remarkably short though. Like we've literally raced through the whole game in just like just 20 minutes or so. Um, so it is a remarkably short game, um, but it is definitely a very fun game. If you've never tried it before, it's it's a fun game to sort of play around with. Uh, one afternoon, we got like half an hour, an hour to kill. Um, definitely, I guess when we were kids, we get a lot more gameplay out of it. But, you know, times have changed. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, hanging out with me on this Saturday, checking out Excite Bike. If you had, go ahead and like. If you, if you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be back soon with a new video and a new game, so hey, you don't want to miss out on that. Until next time, my friends, don't overcommit in the motocross world and play lots of NES classics. That's, that's my personal recommendation to you. Anyway, and uh, otherwise, uh, peace. Run, 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 get on your stinking bike. Oh, you jerk. Oh, we took that one so hard. I wonder if there was a time when I could actually do this. Cause like we're definitely not gonna not gonna make it through this one. But I wonder if there was a time when I was like good enough and I could actually race this track. <laughs> the first three tracks are relatively easy, but man does it ramp up hard. I like I just wiped out right in front of me. I like how he does a little victory wheelie even though he's come in like dead last. He's just proud to be racing, guys.